So we have seen in the first two videos about parenting. Now let's put this information together and let me give share some tips on how to address these problems. I am Dr. C.P. Ravi Kumar. I am a consultant pediatric neurologist. I am based at Astor CMA Hospital in Hepal. So we discussed about instant gratification, tantrums and also about teaching children how to, how to handle failure. Now how do we apply in, this, in our day to day life? First and foremost, time. Time is the essence. We have to give time to our children and we have to spend quality time. The common excuse or common mistakes parents do it when both the parents are sitting in front of the computer working from home and the child is left alone. Even though child is within your eyesight is not getting your attention. So that is important to understand. Being together doesn't mean you are in front of the computer and child is playing on his own. Giving him the time. Ring fence your time. It is easier to say I am aware of it. But you need to understand unless you give the time to the parents nobody else can replace it. We cannot outsource parenting. A maid can do her work but she can never be a parent. The way to do it is one of the tips is to set a time where the family can be together, spend time together. This time has to be ring fenced. Switch off your mobile phones or your phones go to mute, your laptops are shut down and you're not communicating with others while you're spending time together. Secondly, when you have a joint family, all of them to have a kind of same framework in how do you address the children. Sometimes in a family, you notice that one of the parents is strict to the child and rest of the family are exactly opposite. The child gets confusing messages. Eventually, the child will learn to tackle the way the issue has to be dealt. If the father is very strict, they know to run to the mother or the grandmother who is very likely to pamper them. So this is not a very good message to the children. So make sure rules are set and rules are followed, whether it is child or an adult. The third one, common excuses using too much of digital devices. Digital devices are a current day poison and it's unfortunately poisoning growing minds. Make sure you do not expose the child to TV, mobile, computer, laptop, desktop or any of these digital devices which are commonly referred to as screen time. Screen time has to be zero up to the age of two years. But these days the common excuse parents give is only while she's eating we give them give the mobile. It's a one of a bad habit, try to cut it down, see if you can carry the child around, move around, distract him, show him things around him from your balcony and teach him how to eat. As the child grows, they have to sit on the table and eat their breakfast, lunch or dinner. Finally, family time. Family time doesn't have to be exotic location, but definitely it is not the shopping malls. These days we see children and family going out to the mall to spend their evening. That is, no, that is not how it should be. Take them out to your neighborhood, your ground, even in your apartment complex, talking to others on the way, just interacting with them, builds up a lot of social skills which current generation is lacking. I hope this information is useful and helpful to you. If you have any information, you can always reach out to us. If you have any queries, please put it in the bot in the comment section. We'll definitely get back to you. I'm Dr. C.P. Ravi Kumar. I'm a consultant pediatric neurologist at Astro CMA Hospital in Hepa. Thank you.